So single leg. Again, biggest thing I gotta worry about, head and drive leg. The next biggest thing I gotta worry about is his hand placement, okay? Do I get more flexible further up my leg or further down my leg? Down. When his grip goes further down my leg or up my leg, which is more flexible? Right, if I can put him down here, my ankle's super flexible, right? You got guys like Kadukov and stuff like that that were masters, um, Randy Lewis, masters at putting this guy in bad position when you grab their leg, all right? Not as much scrambling, but just understanding that the further this grip goes down my leg, the better opportunity I have to score or defend. Near hand, meaning the hand that's closest to his head, is going to just cup right back here on his neck. Again, got to beat the head, got to beat the drive leg. Other hand, all right? Opposite hand is going to attack the grip, and I'm going to step. Now, when I step, see how his head starts dropping, his drive leg knee starts going towards the mat. As I clean the grip below my knee and get to the mat, drive leg knee on the mat, head on the mat. Check box for me. That's something that I got to take care of. Now, one little thing we're going to add this year is as we step, I'm going to replace my foot with my knee. Everybody see how I did a knee replace? It's kind of like a foot change when you hit like an underhook throw by or something. But I'm stepping and then I'm replacing my foot with my knee. This is important because right when I get him below my knee here and I go to skip, see how it creates a lot of space right here. It stretches him out a little bit further. I want that face in the floor and I'm going to start turning 90 degrees. I'm going to stay on his head and I'm going to hip wizard. See how I'm 90 degrees, my butt's low, drives into the rim. It's not up on his back, okay? Remember, I want to get weight on my feet, driving into him. So I'm hooking the hip right here, keeping weight on the head. We're going to stop right there. So I'm going to tack the head, clean the grip, step away. I'm not doing this. That would just be sprawling, okay? I'm stuffing the head, cleaning the grip, stepping away. Then as I start to step and extend, I'm gonna drive and skip. Skip that knee. I want that head in the floor, 90 degrees. See how I beat his shoulder right here? If I get to this position, even though I got his head beat, just put your head down. If I even I got his head beat, see how his shoulder can still drive into my butt, drive into me? I'm right back to a bad position, okay? So we wanna make sure that head's down and I'm rotating like a hand on a clock, 90 degrees. My drive and my twist. Now. If we don't drive right until the point to where we rip the foot out, we're going to lose it because he's going to get his outside foot up. Again, as the attacker, what are two important things that we've already talked about to help me finish every leg attack? Head and what? Head and drive leg. So, as I'm turning the corner, RJB, as I'm turning the corner, it is very important, he's on this single, Stuff the head, clean the grip, skip the knee, okay? As I get to the corner, this 90 degrees, and I hook this hip, he understands that this still has to come up, and that has to stay stepped up. So the battle is, when I get here, how can I beat his position? As I drive with my butt, what happens to his drive leg knee? Goes to the mat, right? When his drive leg knee hits the mat, that's when it's real easy to spin out. Okay, what we try to do is get to 90 degrees, he's still got his drive leg up, and then he can still wrestle there. If JP tries to spin out right here on me, and he just gets lazy, I get this outside foot up, I'll finish on every time. That's the best, that's the best finish for a single leg spin out. Okay, we get through all these positions, I'll show you a bunch of anti-scramble stuff that we've been working on, okay? But we gotta make sure that that drive leg can't come up. So it's not just turn and dive towards his back. Can't be that simple because we're talking about the best guys. He's going to keep adjusting. Stuff the head, clean the grip. That's why we can't just drop straight down anymore because we've got to get this grip below. So we got to skip, skip the knee. See how it kind of jerked him forward? That's important. His drive leg knee is still up. I've got to get to 90 degrees and my butt is a bulldozer. Hook, the hip drive, and then right as I get a good angle right here, watch my chest and my head as I turn and rip. Did it drop? My head and chest drop. Nope. I want my head and chest up, feet right back in the mat. Get in athletic position. I might have to wrestle there. I might have to wrestle there. I can't just dive behind him. Watch what happens when I just turn and dive behind him. I get here. A lot of times we get anxious and do this. 
Now he's got my foot up in the air. Now he's got an angle. Now I'm back in the hornet's nest again. So I want you to drive low with your butt. And right when you feel the most pressure as you're driving, turn and just rip that foot out. Questions? Do not get 90 degrees and try to rip it out right here. It'll never come out. I've got to drive, 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 twist and rip. Head and chest stay up. I should end up in a sprawl right behind me. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? Good, let's go.